Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Valve uh, video tutorial. The one we're going to do today is a fairly short one, and it's about a new feature that was introduced in version 1.4 of Elementor, and that is the Elementor Canvas, uh, which is kind of nice because it gives you a completely blank page on which to lay out your design for whatever reason it need be. And in this one today, uh, we're going to be also using another feature that was introduced, and that is the maintenance mode uh, functionality, which allows you to set up a, a maintenance page custom as well as a coming soon and it's the coming soon one that we're going to be doing today okay so let's start and uh, you can see i have elementor pro installed but i don't have my uh, license key installed because i generally do not install the key on a uh, local host install so okay uh, let's just uh, show you where that is now if we go down to here, it's not here, is it? <laughs> because it's in the tools. Maintenance mode. So choose the mode, and you could do coming soon or maintenance. And uh, it says here to uh, what the uh, uh, returning HTTP code is. And I'll post uh, that on the Sniffle Valve site a little further explanation. But uh, you could do it here, but I'd like to start out this way. And uh, let's just go right ahead to uh, my library and uh, add new. And we're going to call this coming soon. And I'm going to go over here now and select the Elementor Canvas from the post attribute. And I'm going to hide that. Well, it's going to, no sense doing that because it's, nothing is going to be there. Uh, but we will do full width anyways. Publish that. And now let's go over to Elementor to set up our coming soon page. And all we need is uh, one big section for right now. And in that section, we're going to add a background image. And uh, what should we use, my french fries? Ah, sure, why not? They are yummy, by the way. Now, one other thing you'll want to do, um, let's do this right now uh, while we're still in the section. Come back over here to layout quick. And you will need to go stretch. And the other item we're going to need for the styles is we need it to be cover and with no repeat. Now, if we were going to save that and check it out, uh, there wouldn't be anything there because we have no content. So this is what we're going to use for the content. We're going to come down to uh, one of the pro elements and get the countdown timer. Now, I'm going to knock off the seconds because I don't really care to uh, uh, see things move on my screen. I don't know about you, but that's just me. So style, um, background color. Uh, what did I use in that one? I think I used the blue. And we're going to adjust the opacity a bit so we can see through. And uh, let's go back to oops to the section a little bit. Where are we? There it is. And uh, oop, wrong one. Let's just hide this guy. Background overlay. Oh, we're just going to put a bit of a gray on it. Maybe change the opacity a bit. We'll see. But we can't really see what's going on there because there's uh, nothing there. So 
here's what we're going to do to fix that. We're going to drag a spacer in here and give it, say, 500. Look at those fries. Now, I could uh, duplicate that, but because it's so big, I'm just going to drag another one in and go 500. And save. Okay. Well, that's going to be our coming soon. Uh, but we should save what's coming soon. So we need a heading up there, don't we? So French fries coming soon. And we're going to uh, center that. I'll make it an H1 size. Oh, we'll go extra large. And we'll make it white. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, except uh, I think what I'm going to do here is add another spacer in here. And uh, maybe knock this one down to say ooh, 400. And save that. How is that looking? Looking darn yummy to me. Okay, so... Let's say that's our coming soon page. Of course, you can do whatever you want on there. I'm just, just, just to show you uh, how to go about it, how you style it. It's totally up to you. I just click update there just to make sure. So back to uh, Elementor and Tools. And uh, so we want to say it's coming soon. Oh, just a second. Before we go there, uh, let's go show you what it looks like. Uh, um, Right now, here's their home page for the site. Okay, so uh, now we're going to set it up to our coming soon page. And who can access it? Well, logged in or custom. If you set up custom, uh, you can tell it which roles you want. I have uh, WooCommerce installed. That's why shop manager's there. But we'll just leave it to logged in. And now here's where you can choose your template. And uh, save changes. And uh, go back to the front and uh, refresh. And there's your French fries coming soon. Oh, gee whiz. Now I'm going to... I'm getting hungry. I'm going to want to stop this and uh, go make another batch. Those were tasty, by the way. So anyways, that's pretty much it. And... Uh, of course, uh, you could do the same thing for a maintenance page. Uh, create a new template, set it up the way you'd like, and then come back here and set it to maintenance. And like I said, I will post the, uh, the uh, text uh, from the Elementor blog post that describes uh, the HTTP code, uh, return codes a little bit further. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Sniffle Valve uh, YouTube channel as well as on Sniffle Valve. And uh, the link to the page with that info will be on the description uh, in the video. So thanks for watching and we will talk to you later. Bye bye.